live in the right group. All right. We're live, man. You ready? I'm ready, man. It's exciting. Right. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Welcome to another patient acquisition class where every single Monday we're bringing to you exactly what strategies are working to book patients and get people scheduled and in the doors uh, within your own practices, leveraging mostly Facebook ads. We do a lot of stuff, but we are known to be the Facebook ads guys because after doing this for eight years, we know that that is the fastest, most consistent, most predictable way to be able to get clients in the door when you have a really tight time budget. Like you don't have a ton of time to do a bunch of stuff. So we found Facebook. It's just the easiest way for practices to initially start uh, their digital marketing journey, really starting to scale up their practices. So today I'm going to tee up the call. Today's really freaking awesome. So we're bringing you a training that we've never done before. And this, this isn't just like me just saying like, We've never done this training before. Uh, what this actually is, is the training that caused Max and I to have to go back and re-record our entire high ticket course. So what we're about to walk you through today has completely changed everything about how we coach our business and what's ultimately working to get patients in the door of practices today. So today is the most bleeding edge front line of strategies for booking clients. So we're gonna bring in to you uh, some changes that we've discovered that Facebook is quietly made behind the scenes. That's allowing practices to really quickly capture market share and really start to grow their practices faster than they ever did before, even if they were already running Facebook ads, or even if they were deemed as uh, just a hopeless cause by agencies or coaches that they've worked with in the past. So uh, in order to really tee up this call, uh, I, I want to give all of you a little bit of backstory, a little bit of context behind how this moment really came to be. So uh, over the last eight years, if you, if you don't know Max and I, we are the founders of Clinical Marketer. For the last dang near a decade, all we've done is work to help practices grow their businesses online. And that's not just with Facebook ads, uh, but we have certifications and have successfully ran strategies with YouTube ads, Google ads, Instagram, Facebook, relationship-based marketing, content strategies, any form of patient acquisition you can think of, we have done successfully at every single level of practice that there is. The ones that have chief medical officers and entire marketing uh, directors on their staff to the one uh, solo clinician mom and pop shops. So we've done this a lot. Uh, and over the last couple months, especially with all this COVID stuff going on, and first of all, I'm going off on a bit of a rant, but with, yo, what's up, Jeff, Zach, good to see you guys on here. Um, let us know if you can hear us and see us okay. Um, and, and forgive me if uh, I, I start to kind of lose my voice. I just got my second COVID shot today. Uh, and so that was just over nine hours ago, uh, like right now. So I'm starting to starting to get delirious over here. So <laughs> forgive me. And if you guys have gotten your COVID shots, let us know uh, in the comments where you're at with that. Or if you're one of the uh, anti-vaxxers against the, the shot and all that stuff. I'm super curious to see how we're kind of balanced out in this group. Max, have you gotten your shots, dude? I got one down, one to go, man. So one down, one to go. Well, I'll let you know, let you know how it goes. Jeff got his second shot today, too. Yes, dude. No, no way. Um, so I digress. Okay, so over the last couple months, with all of this this stuff going on, we've had so many different people come to us, either that got burned by another agency, they invested thousands and thousands of dollars in ads only to get low quality leads taking up all their time. And really just wasting their time because they either, you know, if they did come in on a rare instance, they would only come in for initial email, but they'd never convert on a plan of care, or they just wouldn't be getting any leads whatsoever, or uh, they were far too expensive, or they just weren't really the ideal people for them. Uh, there's all sorts of different problems that people were having, and they weren't able to grow their practices because physicians weren't referring. They weren't able to go out there and network like they normally would. A lot of people, I mean, we're getting back into people being super active and word of mouth being, being a big player again, but people really were stuck. They're stuck in a plateau and they couldn't grow. And what we're even realizing now is that every single agency, every single coach, they're all coaching and teaching basically the exact same thing. What this has really done is strategies that used to work very, very well are now diluted and overplayed and they're not working the way that they used to. And they're producing these low quality leads or these really high cost leads that really just make it not really worth the trouble. And so what did Max and I do? We went to work like we always do and we found a solution. Over the last six months, we've invested right around, what, 25 grand into 
uh, running ads to discover, figure out like what is actually working? What's gonna be the next thing uh, that other people are gonna start copying and you know, it's gonna catch on soon. So what we're gonna be teaching you today is what we actually discovered as we're doing this research. We found that Facebook had has made some changes to their algorithm quietly behind the scenes without really calling much attention to it. And once we found it, we started experimenting with different campaign structures and different ways to actually formulate uh, the strategies that we teach. And then we found one that blew what we're currently doing, the old way of doing stuff completely out of the water. Uh, so much to, to the point, and then we've tested it for weeks now, uh, almost going on two months we've been testing this stuff. And now we have to re-record our entire course because of it, which, which is, it's bittersweet because now we know we have something that works so much better than what everyone else is doing. Now we wanna give it all to you and kind of walk you through how it works and what some of the, the evolution of this uh, this campaign and how it came to be. So if you guys are interested in figuring out what I'm calling is the 44 magnum of patient acquisition strategies, comment me in the uh, comments below so we can kind of like rally behind your energy because you know we, we fuel off that stuff. I feed off of that stuff. Uh, so let me see it. Uh, let me hear it. Uh, get us all hyped up around you guys um, because what we're about to do uh, it's going to catch on really quick. And for those of you who are, are smart and are going to pay attention and are going to start implementing this stuff, you do have a massive advantage over what everyone else is doing. Because not only is what we doing, uh, what we're doing, far more time, uh, far less time consuming, is producing much much higher quality leads, and it's allowing people who historically were never able to get Facebook ads to work, to work in a matter of days and blow up their campaigns and just fill their schedules very rapidly. And these are people who have invested thousands of dollars into their ads and have worked with some of the best agencies that are out there. Those agencies couldn't figure it out. We taught them this thing that not only takes far less time to manage and it's far easier to set up, but they started getting people and people and people on books and plans of care like freaking clockwork uh, once we made these subtle changes. So no matter where you are, whether you've ran Facebook ads before and you had a little bit of success, whether you've ran Facebook ads before and they just completely bombed or you have no idea what the heck you're doing, this strategy is very easy, it's very fast, and it's highly effective. Uh, and that's why I want to call it the 44 Magnum of Strategies because honestly, compared to what we we're using before, uh, our old strategy is like a squirt gun compared to this thing because th this it's beyond powerful. So sorry, Max, I'm going to let you talk, man. What's going on, brother? <laughs> I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Yeah. And, and like you said, like if you guys are, if you're currently running ads, like definitely tune into this. There's some like key changes you're going to want to make that can one, bring a campaign back to life or two, if it's already crushing, just crush it even more. And then if you're not running ads, you're just kind of thinking about it at this point. Um, good news for you is like, it got a lot, a lot easier, especially since when we first started this whole thing. So if you're here with us live, drop a live, like Jordan said, we love to rally behind you, get hyped about it. If you're watching the replay, let us know, comment in replay. So um, yeah, to Facebook, the good news is for everyone, whether you've been doing it or you're just getting started, it's gotten a lot easier since back when we first started. That's for sure. Yeah. And so we've been doing this for a really, really long time. I think the first time we ran ads was like seven years ago. And we really started focusing exclusively on Facebook ads. What in the last five, six years? Yeah, I'd say four to five, just Facebook probably started doing Facebook ads in 2017 or 2014. Sorry. First Facebook ad. And, that, so. and that's not because the other strategies don't work. But like I said in the beginning, the reason we focus on Facebook ads is because it's the fastest, most consistent, most reliable way to get patients in the door quickly. Okay, Face, Google ads, YouTube ads, all these things work. There's just more factors involved that can prolong your success with it. Facebook, fast and easy if you know what you're doing. So, I mean, when we first started this stuff, it was you had to work with an agency. Like it wasn't a choice. There's just way too much research, too much, too many factors that went into it to actually make sure that you could actually get results. And you don't have time to manage any of that stuff. So working with an agency was absolutely key. What, what were some of the things that we had to worry about when we were first starting this stuff, Max? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say like, like back when we first started this, like I'm gonna make this analogy. It was like reading a roadmap, right? You know, like piece of paper that's all mm -hmm. folded up and tucked in your glove box. Like that's what it was like. And a lot of the, the heavy lifting, the hard work, was not like in ads manager, like actually writing the ads or anything like that. It was a lot, a lot of research based, right? So like you had to build audiences from scratch using only like these categories and interests that Facebook gave you. So I think a, one of the classic examples, like if you wanted to, to target cyclists, right? Like, you know, you'd have to know which, which uh, magazine cyclists were reading, which bike shops would they potentially be liking on Facebook? 
you know, what are there local cyclist events that they're probably liking or even regional events? And then who are the influencers in this category, right? Like all these things that went into research just into building the people we want to show our ad to, right? This isn't even thinking about even writing the ad yet. So it was all this research. And then, you know, the crazy part was that, that was one, one audience. You had to do that over and over and over again. So so how many people, uh, if, you, if you're watching this, whether it's the live or on the replay, have you attempted to run Facebook ads? And then you kind of got stonewalled when you got to the point where you could choose all of these different interests, all these different buying behaviors. Now you're thinking like, you, you, you almost think that you just hit the, the gold mine. I can, I can target everyone in my area that likes Forbes magazine, which means they're wealthy, which means they're perfect for my offer. That means they can afford my services. And you think that you found this super unique thing that's just going to make your campaigns blow up only need for everything to fall completely flat. And so that, that's that's what it used to be and why it was so important to work with an ad, uh, advertising agency because they knew how to do that keyword research. They knew how to build these unique audiences of your most ideal clients. Uh, and it was this really big hassle, but Facebook being the super smart juggernaut that it is, um, it, it's making it easier and easier and easier for people who are less tech savvy to be able to effectively and intelligently advertise on their platform okay because they want everyone using this thing they don't want just the small people who are willing to you know do the research and figure this stuff out to use it they want everybody and their grandmother being able to do this stuff uh, intelligently to be able to make money on the platform so they can continue to grow it so that, that's what it used to be probably around like three years ago that's when they started to really make some changes to the pixel really advanced uh advanced level, right yeah exactly so the 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 actual tracking pixel has been along, but I like to think like the birth, the actual birth of like a useful pixel was probably only three to four years ago when we can actually start using the pixel to learn, learn about who's clicking our ads, who's opting in our ads. And it made our ad Oh no, Max, we lose you. We might've lost him, but oh, no, where he was going. Oh, wait, you're back. You're uh, back. Gone. You're, you're, you're back. So you said um, right around the, the time that you really consider, consider like the pixel to be effective. Uh, that's when you cut out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so three to four years ago, they finally actually made the pixel for more than just tracking. They made it a brain for your ads where you actually learn about who's clicking, who's opting in and made your ads smarter so that it can start to adapt and learn and optimize on its own. Not just having someone manually start testing all these new interests and, and you know, thoughts and events and creating new targets. So. Right. And, and so for those of you who don't know what the pixel is, the Facebook pixel is a tracking code. Okay. And this thing is really smart. It's called a machine learning algorithm. And what that actually means is that this person, this isn't just like a, a tracking device that's being thrown on your computer to be able to track where you go on the internet. What this thing is actually doing is following you along, following you along on the internet, learning from your behaviors. What things are you interested in? What ways do you interact with content? What ways do you buy things online? And it's starting to build a profile of who you are and then matching that against all of the millions of other profiles that are online. So every single time someone takes an action that we want them to take, like opting into the landing pages on your ads, it's now able to take that list of all the people who opted in and be like, okay, I'm gonna go build a list of people with similar attributes to these people. And that was massively groundbreaking because now not only are you able to build uh, you know, these dream audiences of the people in your community, community that haven't bought from you yet, uh, but you're able to start um, uh, oh, I kind of lost where I was going with that. I had a really good, really good point on it. Yeah, I mean, maybe you'll pick It'll it up. Come back to me. Yeah, your ads are actually able to get smarter and kind of optimize on their own. So, Dang. I'll let Jordan think here. But the the thing the thing is, it evolved. So, like, if you think about the old ways building these audiences, and that was like our roadmaps, right? The folded up piece of paper in our glove box. And now we've evolved. The ads can actually build the audiences on their own. And this is kind of like MapQuest. So, who remembers MapQuest? I feel like we lived through the birth and the death of MapQuest in our lifetime. So if you guys remember MapQuest, let us know in the comments. I remember before every single soccer game having to go like look up where the field was, print it out, hand it to my mom so she could drive me to my soccer game. So, but, uh, <laughs> but absolutely. So if you guys remember MapQuest, let us know. But but with the birth of MapQuest, with the birth of the, the pixel allowing you to, to it, the building the audience was no longer the problem, but we had a ton of new problems. So. Back then, you know, we finally have MapQuest, we have our pixel. It's not about building the target, building an audience. It's about, you know, kind of how do we target multiple audiences now? Like if we wanted to scale our ads, 
we'd have to have five to six campaigns, you know, like one for back pain, one for knee pain, one for shoulder pain, one for men, one for women, right? And it, it became this complex thing where suddenly, you know, just to be able to get the number of leads we want, we're managing five, six, seven campaigns at a time. And, you know, one, one week, the back pain's doing really well. And when we're spending all our time working on these five other campaigns that are kind of stinking it up. And one of the key reasons they're stinking it up is because the back pain came back pain campaign is doing so well, right? It's kind of like soaking up all of Facebook's juices and that pixel on that ad is learning, learning, learning like crazy. And, and then we spend all our time trying to get these other campaigns to perform. So while, while the pixel was a great thing, it brought in a lot of new problems. Right. And, and so what, what I was trying to say, I'm totally lost my train of thought midway through it, it was the Facebook pixel basically did all the heavy lifting of having to figure out what kind of things our customers are interested in, because we have a good idea. We can give you know, we, we can guess a few things we know they're interested in, but obviously our clients and our patients are so much more complex than that. There's so many other underlying interests about them that we don't know that Facebook does. And so the invention of a pixel allowed us to basically bypass that entire research phase or really start to get really good at zeroing in on our people. But as Max said, as this thing got developed, it was far from perfect and created all sorts of new problems. So yes, we could run campaigns uh, that would pinpoint our clients, but being able to scale those out, uh, it became really, really difficult. And so what most people went wrong with this thing and where, you know, if you were having a hard time running Facebook ads, it was generally because you had to basically guess which one, uh, like what patient avatar do I want to go after? And you almost had to get lucky. You had to have the right message with the right offer, with the right avatar at the right time. And so even if you really knew like the systems and understood what worked with Facebook ads, you might still be failing uh, because there, there's so much trial and error involved with making it happen. But the beautiful thing is with these new changes that Facebook has made combined with this new system that we built for those changes, it removes almost all of the guesswork from running Facebook campaigns. And uh, the pixel itself removes all the research. Now this new change removes all the guesswork of trying to figure out like which is the right avatar to be focusing on right now. Uh, which is so incredibly massive. And that's what inspired um, basically my revolver analogy of the 44 Magnum, because now we go with, start off with multiple avatars that we know are working really well right now. Then we leave it up to the Facebook pixel to basically fire each one of these and keep revolving through the avatars to find where the best opportunity is for your practice uh, within the given area. So it doesn't matter if your practice is surrounded by 15 chiropractors, some massage therapists, and other cash pay practices. Okay, it doesn't matter because with this system, it, Facebook is going to find the gap within all the different marketing messages that are out there with your com competition. And it's going to find the one opportunity that's not getting hammered on your market right now. And then it's, uh, and then it's going to focus only on those. So maybe everyone else focuses on back pain. That's fine because with this system, we're going to find out that, oh, Shoulder campaigns are the ones that are being completely underutilized. And then you're going to soak up all that market share. And then as other people start to rotate their avatars, our system is going to automatically um, um, revolve to the next avatar to figure out where the next opportunity is. And it is a really, really beautiful thing that changes on a given basis. So there's a whole level of automation uh, that's now possible with this stuff. Though you have to think about just about anything. <laughs> just a freaking amazing thing. Yeah, that's that's right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna back up just a second and recap this a little bit. So when we first started, you needed a marketer, right? It was the roadmaps. It was a ton of research. A lot of effort went into building these these avatars. Then we have the birth of the pixel. We we're referring to as MapQuest, essentially. And now you you wanted an app. You wanted a marketer, right? Because it was still a ton of work. There's so many campaigns to manage, and all these things. And now we're kind of at this era where. The algorithm is kind of smarter than us all. And we can put all of our avatars into one campaign. We can tell Facebook to use its automatic placement to show the right ad at the right time to the right person and really just give all the work to Facebook to do. Right. So honestly, it's, it's, it's almost dumb to work with an ad advertiser right out of the gate right now or work with an agency right out of the gate right now because Facebook has made it so incredibly easy for individual uh, practice owners, no matter how busy you are, uh, if someone shows you how to do it, setting up these campaigns are extremely simple. And then the most, for the majority of it, it, it can be pretty hands off. There are some exercises that you need to do uh, maybe once a week to be able to keep those campaigns healthy. 
But because of these recent changes that Facebook has allowed where you can uh, easily have multiple avatars rotating within one campaign um, uh, using the pixel data, it, it's absolutely insane how easy it is to, to make uh, th this stuff happen for yourself. Even if you've really, really struggled for a long time with just getting low quality leads, maybe you um, just ran Facebook ads and you couldn't get them to work before. Okay, we've tested this with pretty much every type of practice with every type of advertising problem you can imagine. And the results speak for themselves where time and time again, they all of a sudden they're getting leads flooding through their door and they're actually booking and converting on plans of care. So it doesn't matter if you know, you've ran leads, maybe, maybe you have, are working with an agency and you're getting a lot of leads, but a lot of them aren't answering the phone or uh, they are coming in, but they're not converting on plans of care. That's you, stay me. Yo, what's up, Ben? Jeff, good to see you, man. Hannah, Tobin, Tobin, I haven't seen you in freaking forever, man. We gotta, we gotta reconnect soon. Um, so you might have a low quality lead problem. It happens to a lot of people because everyone's still using the old way of doing things and it's pretty much pretty diluted. And so that's driving the quality of these programs down. So maybe that's your problem. Maybe you had one campaign that you set up and it worked really well. Then all of a sudden it plateaued and never really seemed to, to come, come back to life. So it doesn't matter if that's your problem. We, we tested it with this and it brings campaigns right back to life by switching where we're focusing our budget and breaking down, uh, uh, running more ads with more avatars. Okay, so this is going to prevent you from wasting a ton of money on ads. And it's going to save you a ton of time trying to rotate uh, uh, different patient avatars, and patient populations manually and trying to guess which one is going to work. By using our method, where we plug in multiple avatars underneath one campaign with a special uh, tweak in how we're using your budget, uh, it, Facebook is going to use its advanced data and its algorithm, which is far faster or smarter than we could ever be, to find which one of those is going to be the greatest opportunity for your practice, and which one's going to get patients that are not just going to come in for evals, but actually convert on plans of care much, much faster than any previous strategy that we've ever done in the past. Again, We've been doing this a really long time. And as soon as we find new strategies that are working the best, you are the first to learn about it. That's what these Monday classes are all about. So if you are running Facebook, uh, Facebook marketing, if you're considering doing it, you absolutely need to be leveraging what we call the power five, which is really the five principles that really matter the most when you're setting up Facebook campaigns right now. And I, I don't want to go in, go too deep into what those power five, the power five is, but it really is based on how to structure your budget. What kind of audiences to use? How to structure your different avatars? Um, and if you guys would be interested in learning more about the Power Five, uh, comment Power Five, and maybe we'll do a full training on it to make sure that you are covering all your bases to make sure that you have really effective patient getting campaigns that are not only going to get leads contacting you, but you're going to get people booking, and it's going to be consistent and most importantly scalable long term because. Having one campaign that works one month, but then you have to figure out how to fix it the next month is honestly a bigger waste of your time than just not running ads. Okay, you need a campaign that's going to be consistent, that's going to be predictable, and that you can scale it so that you're getting as many new patients as you need to grow your practice at the rate that you want to. Uh, so that's really what all of this stuff is about. So uh, if you guys want to learn more about the Power 5, again, comment Power 5 in the comments. Um, uh, Max, anything to add on the Power 5 or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I could definitely, like I said, like we probably need a full, full, full training to actually go into detail. But like just real quick, the Power 5 is like the first one is campaign simplification. So instead of six campaigns for six different avatars, we have one campaign for lead generation. The next one is campaign budget optimization, which means in Facebook is going to, like Jordan was saying, it's going to revolve. So say the back pain avatar is the one that's opting in the most today. It's going to put all your money on that one. And the very next day, it might be the shoulder pain. And you don't have to touch a thing. Facebook's going to switch that on the next. So the next one is called automatic placement. This is allowing Facebook to show your ad to the right person at the right spot at the right time. And this is just really about giving Facebook algorithm enough breathing room to really work its magic. And then the third, the fourth one is, um, it's called auto advanced matching. So it's kind of complex term, but it's really about just like supercharging your pixel, right? It's these, this, it's just a little setting toggle in your Facebook settings and you turn that thing on and it basically it makes your, your Facebook pixel twice as smart because it used to just match on this little unique ID that iOS is now blocking anyway. Now it matches on all sorts of behavior and, and where they've gone, where they've been. And then the last one is called lookalike audiences, which this is kind of where we need that full training, but it's just using Facebook's smart audiences that are 
based purely off the people that took a specific action you wanted and allowing Facebook to target them as well. So that was the power five in two minutes. Like I said, we need a full training to really go through it, but it, but it makes, it makes Facebook ads so much easier and so much more effective. Facebook's ultimate goal is that you don't need other people's help to be able to effectively run your ads. That is what we've been trying to get across to our entire audience. And, you know, we, that's why we've helped over 200 practices take their marketing in-house because this stuff really is extremely easy. And because of these recent changes, it's easier now than ever because it removes all the guesswork from having to figure out like, what is the right avatars? What, which one should I market? You know, what kind of messaging should I use? All that stuff is really, really easy to figure out, especially when you have uh, people like Max and I who know, like, here's the messaging that works for each avatar. Now you don't even have to know which avatar you want to run. We'll test all of them. And then the people within your community, based on their interests, and by leveraging Facebook's powerful algorithm, it's going to tell you exactly which are the biggest opportunities to focus your money on. And then you can start to, to grow and scale it. Uh, and one of the issues with, like, the old way that we're doing this stuff, you can only really focus on one avatar at a time. You'd run multiple campaigns with each campaign having its own avatar. One avatar would really start to work better than all the other ones. And so that's where you'd put your budget. And then you'd only get shoulder leads for the next month and a half. But most of you, uh, I, I, you know, I'd be willing to bet that you'd think that would get kind of boring only treating shoulders the entire time. And so the great way about this revolver system is that by having all these different avatars in one campaign, Facebook, Facebook's pixel is going to find which one of those avatars is the greatest opportunity on a day-by-day -day basis. So you're not just getting a bunch of shoulder leads. You're getting a, a wide variety of all these different patients based on the day and time that, that those avatars have the greatest opportunity uh, to be able to uh, convert and come into your practice. And so the amount of data and amount of work that this new system takes off of your plate, it really is uh, like... <laughs> It's not a great use of your time or resources to work with an agency. In most cases, you end up spending more time trying to critique and edit the messaging that they're using than you're going to actually spend on the phone with leads that actually want to do business with you. And so this setup takes, you know, especially if you're working with someone like Max or I or our team, where we actually just set this up with you over a span of a 20 minute phone call is extremely, extremely fast and extremely efficient for getting people in your door. Um, so if this is something that you want to learn, I highly recommend doing it. Uh, we, we have one story, like two really, really powerful stories I want to share with you guys. Uh, one of them is from our, one of our clients, Michael. And Michael had worked with an agency slash coaching business uh, for a, a number of months. And he had he, a lot invested in this, north, uh, north of five figures invested in this program. And he had very, very little to show for it. He got a few patients. He got a few patients, but uh, those few patients didn't offset the massive opportunity cost that was lost on following up with leads and never answered, on treating people that are never going to be a good fit or convert on a plan of care. And it, it wasn't working. He was operating at a massive loss. And basically, this group marked him off as a hopeless cause, uh, as a problem client. And so he came to us pretty, you know, pretty down, didn't think like, he, he knew like deep down the Facebook ads worked. He saw other people running Facebook ads. They were growing, you know, his, their practices faster than his. And he knew that, that it wasn't like an area problem. He lives in a pretty good area, a pretty affluent area where there's plenty of opportunity. And for some reason, uh, you know, this, these other groups that you're working with, he couldn't get to work because they're all basically using the exact same method, like a discounted eval for a back pain assessment. Okay. And that, that's pretty much what everyone's doing. Uh, and that, that's why it's really slowing down and not, not working. So if that's you, if you've been getting a lot of, a lot of leads, but they weren't really quality people and you're starting to write off Facebook, don't do it yet. Uh, because Michael almost did, but I got him to trust us and work with us um, because you know we have, we were, we're working with a few people that had spoken highly of us and we have a pretty great success rate. So I got him to, to hang on and trust us. And so we set up this campaign with him uh, and then in the span of just a matter of days, he had gotten like 12 leads, like six of them on the schedule uh, and basically paid off our entire program within the matter of like 14 days uh, after working with an, an expert a agency that only works with PTs and chiros, an expert agency, uh, and worked with them for about four or five months with nothing. Worked with us for two weeks, leveraging this new strategy that we're talking to you today. And he, he's absolutely crushing it between... Uh, shoulder leads, hip leads, and knee leads. I believe those are the three, right, Max? 
Yeah, I think we have a sciatica one in there as well, but yeah. Oh, and a sciatica one. Okay, so that's how the system works. You pick the top campaigns that are working right now, throw them in the system, and then Facebook. We're going to not try to outsmart Facebook. We're just going to let Facebook find the, where the opportunity is on uh, a given day, uh, and it's absolutely crushing it. So on, on a slightly different kind of story, we, we had another one of our students, uh, Kat, who she came in to our system before we really learned uh, about these new opportunities that Facebook has created for practices. Uh, and so we're still leveraging like our old system. That's still working pretty, pretty darn well. The people who are still using it, they're still using it because it's working. Uh, everyone else, we've transitioned to this new one. Uh, but Cat was one of those scenarios where the, the traditional common way of running ads just didn't work. You know, she, she had ran her ads for uh, about a month. She had spent about $500 on ads. Uh, she had gotten the impressions. She had gotten the reach. Uh, enough people have seen her ads where she should have broke even. She should have made her money back and even paid for our program by then. Uh, but for some reason, it just wasn't working. You know, she, we tried all the thing, uh, all the traditional things. And for whatever reason, it, it just didn't work. And so most, most people probably would have wrote her off and just said, um, you know, like it doesn't work for everybody. And then just kind of washed their hands and moved on and just kind of, uh, you know, wrote her off as like, not, you can't help everybody win. Uh, we didn't do that because that's not how we operate. You know, we, we like to consider ourselves educators, not coaches because coaches uh, success is based off of the few, a few talented people on their team that are able to take their teams to a championship, things like that. We like to think of ourselves as educators because educators are judged based off of their class averages. Okay, we don't care about a few outlier people who are able to do very well. We care about having an extremely high client success rate. I'm extremely proud to be able to say that ours is right around 80%. And that is where we intend to keep it and why we invest most of our money into our support staff on our teams. So with Kat, when she didn't, her, her system wasn't working, instead of writing her off, we decided to reimburse her for um, the ad spend that hasn't worked uh, and dedicated ourselves to figuring this problem out, which is one of the things that actually led to us making this discovery because we wouldn't accept that this just doesn't work for you as an option. Facebook ads can work for anyone if you're willing to sit down and figure it out. Luckily, <laughs> we were able to figure it out. Uh, we set her up with this system and within uh, a matter of days, uh, she's uh, actually, it's only been like what, two days? Yeah. So as I was, was going to say, like she lives in a very competitive area, she's out in Long Island. She treats patients in the Hamptons. Like, and um, so, yeah, so we set her up with this new system uh, middle of last week and she got a few leads right away. And then actually just got a messenger from her before, right before we went live. So I'm glad you threw this in there, Jordan. Uh, but over the weekend, three leads, three new leads, three booked evals. She's filling up and uh, she's going to have to start, uh, you know, bringing on some more PTs soon just to, to keep her schedules filling up really quick. So uh, glad you wrote that one in there quick and shout out to Kat. If you're watching this replay, uh, super proud of you for sticking with it. I'm glad we're figuring out. We're just going to keep, keep it going. Right. And, and so like, obviously three for three on getting people on the schedule, that's nothing to get too like excited about without context. But the fact that she had tried everything that other people had told her to try and it didn't work. And then we tried this new system based off of the new changes that Facebook has made to their algorithm. And then instantly everything turned around and now she's got a full schedule. She's er, very close to a full schedule and things are actually scaling up and she's got people on the schedule uh, that who are a perfect fit for her in one of the most competitive markets in the US. Um, that is really, really exciting. So. Don't write yourself off if an agency or someone else said that it just doesn't work in your area. They just don't know what they're doing or just lack the economic business structure to be able to give you the time needed to figure it out for you. So if that's you, if you just tried it in the past and it didn't work, reach out to us. Okay, because we have a system, we have a strategy. Uh, we're not one trick ponies. We've done this a lot. Uh, we can help you figure it out too, uh, because uh, we, we've helped all of our clients do it so far. We're extremely proud of the success rate that we have for our clients and we will do, uh, we'll go the distance to help make sure that happens. So for those of you who are watching this, um, if you are running Facebook ads, okay, it's really important that you start to pay attention to what changes Facebook is making to their algorithm and don't try to outsmart the algorithm. Okay, don't get too crazy with the different interests you can target people. I know it's really hard. Like if you're psych targeting cyclists, it's so hard not to click the interest cyclists. Okay. But by doing that, you are narrowing the view of Facebook's data and you are eliminating so many other cyclists 
that otherwise could have been your clients. Uh, but by just because you, you couldn't resist hitting that button, your campaign's not going to work. Okay. Leave everything wide open. When you launch these campaigns, throw every single avatar you want to work with into one of the campaigns. If you want us to talk, if you want to talk about help, uh, getting our help to set that up, let us know. I'm going to talk about that in a little uh, few seconds on how you can get our team's help to make sure you set these up properly. Um, but make sure that uh, at first, keep everything as simple as humanly possible. Be specific on who you want to work with, like uh, running moms of uh, Milwaukee. Okay. You want to be specific, like gender specific, um, like run, like specific, like runners or climbers or hikers, and then like knee pain. Okay. You want to have like three levels uh, of, um, of what would I call it? Focus with your avatars. Okay. But everything else, when it comes to running the ads themselves, leave it wide open, let Facebook figure it out itself. And then you can look at the data and start refining from there, but don't get too complicated with it. Facebook has made it very, very easy for you to be successful doing this stuff without having to count on other people. Just don't overthink it. Just get stuff launched and then take a look at the numbers. It's, it's a really, really beautiful thing. So uh, anything to add to that, Max? Yeah. I mean, I would just say like, People, people think, you know, try to overcomplicate it way too much. Like I've for sure, for sure logged my well over 10,000 hours in ads manager. And I know better than to mess with the algorithm, like target with your messaging, use your words to reach the right people and let Facebook algorithm just do its job. Just leave it wide open, let it run. Right. If you try to get fancy with Facebook ads, you're going to pay a lot of what we call stupid tax. Okay, it's, it's, it's a massive loss uh, that you're going to incur because you tried to outsmart Facebook. If you just leave everything wide open, don't get too fancy with it. Just say, here's exactly who I want to work with. Here's their exact problem. And here's exactly what I'm giving to them. And let Facebook do all the heavy lifting. You are going to have such a more profitable campaign and you're going to spend way less time in Facebook ads manager trying to figure it out. Okay. If you're doing it right, you should only have to spend a few hours a week uh, running this stuff while it's bringing in tens of thousands of dollars to your practice. This stuff is very manageable for an owner to run. This is extremely manageable for an admin to run. If you have a 16 year old son who's looking for a part time job, it's very easy for them to run. Okay, you just need someone to show them how to do it. And as soon as they know how to do it, doing it and repeating it and replicating it and modifying it to fit your business even more is extremely simple. Okay, most agencies are selling uh, and trying to convince people that this stuff is very difficult. But in reality, what an agency really is today is basically um, uh, what, what are those people called in like the 1950s that connected um, telephone operator operators? Yes operators. Thank you. They're the modern day operator where in reality, it's like all they're doing is connecting a dot here and there, and then they are done. Okay. This stuff is easy. You can manage this stuff in-house and the best way to build a scalable practice is to do things internally, be self-sufficient, get a system, map out the system, create a system and a process that you can give on paper, and then hand it to someone to learn internally uh, because hiring it out in an agency space it's, it's doomed to, to fail within the next six months. That's on average where most agencies are able to work with you. And then you're going to get stuck in what we call the agency loop of terror. You're going to have to keep hiring and hiring and hiring. When you can skip all of that headache, save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars just by sitting down for a few hours, setting this up, understanding how it works, documenting it, then handing it off to your admin, and then you're done. And you can start scaling at the rate that you deem, deem fit. And instead of that $3,000 a month advertising budget, you can shove that right into an ad system that's producing an 8x return. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was, I'm, I'm a bit passionate about that. There's a lot of money being wasted on tasks that are very, very simple for practices to do. Okay. So if any of you are interested in learning how to set up these campaigns the right way, and believe me, there are a thousand wrong ways to set this up and only one way that works extremely, extremely well. Okay, we've tested, uh, we failed a lot more than, uh, uh, we found a lot of ways that don't work more than we found the ones that actually do work. So if you wanna take the shortcut and find the way that actually works uh, and bypass the you know $25,000 in R&D that we spent over the last couple months, here's what you can do. 
So in addition to all this free coaching and resources that we do in this group, we also have a high ticket program uh, where you're able to learn and work with me and my team for the next 12 weeks, where we not only set this, this campaign up with you and teach you how to set it up, but we help you under, understand the underlying fundamentals of why this system works. Because again, we are, we're educators. We are judged based off our class average. And the only way that we have a high success rate is that we work with you every step of the way and we help you understand why these things work so that you can replicate them. You can copy them. You can modify them for your own purposes so you can have long-term success long after you're done with our program. So if you're interested in learning how to set this stuff up, Okay, what I want you to do isn't to go and buy our program. You can't just go and buy our program. It's invite only. Uh, and we push way more people away than we bring on. Not because we're, we're jerks, but because we really, really care about getting people results. And if we don't, if we're not extremely confident and get you results, we're not going to invite you to our program. So what I do want you to do is comment 15 below. And what we're going to do is reach out to you for a 15 minute discovery call. And basically all we're doing is listening to you, getting to know your practice, what your challenges have been over the last couple of months, and ultimately what it is you're hoping to achieve. Are you bringing on PTs in the next couple of months? Are you moving into a bigger space? Are you starting your first practice? I wanna figure out where you're at so that we can either refer you to our other free trainings and resources uh, and help you achieve that goal faster, or if it makes sense, if we're super confident that we can help you, We'll invite you to go into a deeper dive or call, uh, deep dive call where we can get to know each other a little bit better and make sure that we really enjoy working together and that our system is the best and fastest solution to get you, get you what it is that you're looking for. So if you're interested in talking to us and making sure that you get this stuff set up properly and really start to scale your practice the right way, comment 15 uh, and one of our team members will reach out to you to get a call scheduled. Anything out of that, Max? No, that was fun. And if you guys, uh, you know, Get on that game plan call. It's absolutely for you. It's you know for your business that you can find the right path to go down for you. And then also, um, if you guys want that Power Five training, let me know. It's one I'd love to do. So yeah, you know, Tobin Tobin spoke up about that. Yeah, Power Five. I mean, that's huge. You want, you want to give some people some context on why they want that training? Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, like like our whole kind of the analogy we went through from the beginning. Like, you know, Facebook now has that GPS where anyone can use it right? You don't need to be tech savvy or a marketer or anything like that. Their system is so dialed in and so right that it's, they basically made it as simple as possible to really rock and get the full power out of Facebook ads. So, and that's what the power five is all about. It's about making it simple, making it easy and getting the result you want as fast as possible. Absolutely. So just a really quick recap of everything that we talked about. So it used to be that you had to do a ton of research to feel, be able to figure out where your people were hanging out online. Uh, that was really dark times <laughs> where it was essential to work with an agency. And then Facebook created, uh, not didn't create, but they evolved what we call the Facebook pixel, which is the AI that Facebook uses to learn about the people that take certain actions on their computer. And what that ultimately did is it eliminated, eliminated the need to do all this research on what things your customers were interested in and, and it allowed facebook to do that stuff for you and now this third evolution of facebook that they really did behind the scenes has really eliminated all of the hard work for running facebook ads so that practice owners and entrepreneurs like yourselves were able to do this stuff without having to rely on somebody else it is now easier now than it ever has been to be able to take your marketing in-house and have massive results without it being a huge time suck on your practice making practices more scalable than ever because now instead of twenty five hundred dollars or five thousand dollars going towards an agency you can now invest that into an ad campaign that's producing anywhere between a five and a 10x return on every dollar that you're putting into it and right now our clients are getting you know upwards of eight uh, we've had one of our clients have a 12x return on their campaigns and so if you took that money and reinvested it it's it, it honestly is almost stupid to work with an agency these days, given how easy it is to run highly successful and profitable campaigns. Facebook's really taking the burden off of everyone's back. So if you guys are interested in getting this stuff set up, uh, comment 15, we'll get a, uh, a 15 minute discovery call scheduled. We'll tell you what it, you know, ultimately what it looks like uh, to work with us, uh, but we'll also set up a really simple step-by-step -step plan, uh, whether you work with us or not, on action steps you can take uh, to start hitting your goals. Because we have a ton of free resources. We're here to help you guys. We're here to serve you guys. So anything that we can do to make that happen, uh, we'll absolutely do that. So if you guys have questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, Tobin, I see you. Ashlyn, see you. Nick, good to see you guys on here. Love it.
All right, guys. Uh, so we'll see you uh, next week, Monday, uh, where we have, we get again, have another patient acquisition class where we'll teach you uh, probably, it sounds like we're going to be doing the power five next week, but everyone, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it means the world to us. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out, but we'll see you next time. Later.